I want to talk to you about how to reach out to influencers on social media. So what is an influencer? Very basically, an influencer is somebody who can actually has a lot of followers in a particular industry, in a particular uh, business, and by talking to them about your business or about their problems, uh, you will put yourself in a position where you can get referred to or introduced to a much larger number of customers in a particular sector. So what I want to do in the next couple of minutes is talk about how, for example, you can use Twitter to reach out to influencers. Now, an example I really like using is the travel industry. Uh, so if, for example, you are selling holidays in northern France, you're selling holiday villas, um, you might be looking to uh, sell those villas in places like Normandy, for example. And how do you do that? Uh, there are thousands and thousands of people who want to buy holidays in northern France. Uh, you can't talk to every single person. That would be a huge amount of work, not very profitable. But what you can do is, you can see on Twitter that there are lots and lots of people who are in a similar business to you, who complement what you do, and who have a lot of customers and followers who will be very interested in what you have to offer. So, for example, one of the things you can do on Twitter is you can search in real time for conversations that people are having. So, for example, you can search Northern France. You can search, search for a hashtag, Normandy. You can look up uh, travel ideas, Northern France. Uh, so there are lots of keywords that you can search for. And when you search those keywords, you will see in real time conversations that people are having. And some of those conversations will come from tourist authorities in Northern France, or there'll be people who have complementary services. So for example, there'll be, uh, there'll be for example, uh, places of historical interest. There'll be all sorts of possibly amusement parks. And now all of those, those will be interested in talking about or promoting maybe accommodation in their area. So what you need to be doing is, is talking to those people because those people are influencers. Uh, so what you do is once you've monitored those conversations, you then need to keep a list of people who are possible influencers. One of the things that Twitter has is a feature called lists. And what that is, is you can keep a separate Twitter feed just of people who are influencers. So what you do is, uh, each time you see someone on Twitter who might be an influencer, like a tourist authority in Northern France, what you do is you click on your profile and there's an option, uh, you'll see a silhouette uh, symbol at the top of that person's profile and there'll be an option called add to list. So you can create a list of um, travel companies in Northern France. Once you've created that list, you can start actually monitoring the conversations that those people are having. And if there is a conversation that's relevant to you, so for example, they're talking about, uh, for example, you know, come to Northern France uh, or, you know, come to, uh, come to visit this, this amusement or that, this place of interest, you can then join in that conversation. Um, you can ask them, uh, you know, you can ask them about uh, how far they are from where you're based. Um, you can draw their attention to other places of interest about where you're based. Um, you can ask them about where people stay. Um, but what you're doing is you're building relationships with people who have an audience that's going to be interested in what you have to offer. And I think the most important thing is that this is not just an online conversation. Once you've made a connection with people on Twitter, right, Twitter is a means to an end, not an end in itself. So, for example, once you've met a tourist authority in northern France, connect with them on Twitter, but why, why don't you also suggest, you know, what, I've, what you do is of interest, let's have a chat. Um, or, 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 you know, so then you have a conversation with them and then you can agree offline they're going to do more to promote you on Twitter. So, if, for example, you have any offers that are of interest, they will retweet what you have of interest to their followers. Um, but you can also draw attention to them by, by making sure you retweet what they talk about or you have conversations to them. So just by merely doing that, um, you're drawing attention to yourself because each time, say for example, there is a tourist authority in Northern France, if they retweet something you said or they reply to you, their followers will see you and then that will draw their attention to what you have to offer. So just to summarize, to uh, attract your more business on Twitter or on social media altogether, you need to talk to influencers. And by talking to influencers, what I mean is you need to monitor conversations that you think will be relevant to you. Um, and what you'll do is you will find quite quickly people who are in complementary businesses that you can talk to. Um, and then if you get those people on board, they will promote what you have to say to your followers. So that's my tip for the day. If you want to grow your business on social media, focus on influencers.